I'm Ella Meyer, and I've been playing volleyball for 10 years. I'm Jack Souter, and I've played soccer for around 11 years. I think the biggest struggle is um, staying in shape, being conditioned. Definitely balancing my time, just because for school, we practice every single day after school for about two to two and a half hours. And then with tournaments where I don't get home until really late in the night. There's always practices where you just, you know, you need to get through it. Also with club, we're always traveling, so I'll be missing either Mondays or Fridays of the week and just Getting caught up on those assignments and homework and tests over the past couple years has been really, it's been hard. I've had soccer in my blood. My dad and mom both played it and, you know, I, I grew up playing it and it wasn't something that I really was forced to do. And I look back at it and I'm happy I stuck with soccer. I just, I love it. I love the game so much. Do your best on the off season is the biggest thing. I know it's not everyone's favorite, but if you're stuck with the choice between going to conditioning or going out with friends, like go to conditioning, you know, push yourself, push yourself to the max that you're willing to go because it'll pay off in the long run. Whether that be in club or in training with a different coach. Don't give up. Like you don't want to be just someone who gives up, you want to be someone who makes a difference. Because there are times when it's going to be difficult and you're going to want to say, I'm done, I quit, I can't do this anymore. But just go the extra mile every chance that you get. There's a quote on um, a t-shirt of ours that says, if you've never thought about quitting, you've never done anything great, which, uh, which is something that our coach says a lot. The beginning of high school, it was also hard just because I didn't make the team that I originally wanted to make. There were other things that I wanted to be doing. Oftentimes volleyball would conflict with hanging out with friends or going to school events. Um, I have wanted to give up. There would be times where I didn't really get necessarily where I wanted to go at that time with volleyball. I felt like I was putting in a lot of effort, but there were always people around me that were getting better than I was. You know, everyone on varsity has pushed themselves to a limit and we do not settle but I've never given up. You know, I stuck with it, I worked harder, and it got me to where I ultimately wanted to be. Captain. If you really wanna play varsity soccer, it's gonna be hard. You meet so many amazing people. I have met some of my closest friends through volleyball. People that I would have never really known if it wasn't for soccer. So in third grade, I started playing rec volleyball. And that was just with my elementary school. And so I have been playing with some of those girls for 10 years. I feel like a sports family is bigger than any other friendship that I'll ever have. It's just the bond that you have from playing a sport with someone for that long of a time. You know, that's, that's forever. You're always gonna have that and it's gonna be something completely different than the friendships you have with girls that you just go to school with. That's what we push to succeed for. You're gonna meet just different people and they really touch your life in a different way. You know, it's gonna be hard if I don't to step away from the game, but I know that if I do go to a college, not for soccer, that I will still join a team. I do have a couple options to play somewhere. As of right now, no, I'm not. I feel like, you know, I've done it for 10 years and I'm kind of just ready to end that chapter and start a new chapter in my life. I will be the coach of my kids in, in every sport, yeah.